hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talks video guys so on today's video i'm going to show you how to use the two-factor authentication on facebook now um on my previous video i showed you guys how to create or use the two-factor authentication but i actually made use of the sms option so on today's video i'm going to show you how to do this while making use of the google authentication um google authenticator app so um to use the google authenticator app the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and type, type authenticator this is authenticator and then go ahead and search it might give you different results actually but what you need is to use this particular application from google and this is actually the recommended one for so many applications. Now, um, once you have this installed on your phone, go ahead and open the Facebook. But before we open the Facebook, let me show you guys the real reason why I'm actually going through the Google Authenticator app. And the reason why it's very important for you also to do. I don't know if you have this already, but I'm going to share this with you. Um, I took a screenshot of this when I received the message. So it says... Um, page publishing authenticator authentication is required because you manage one or two pages with high potential reach we require um, we require you verify your account by accomplishing these steps below um, please note your verification is not instant and could take a few days or um, to process could take a few days to process so we recommend you take these steps um, today so secure your personal account with two-factor authentication and then um, certify uh, where you are based by confirming your primary location now after I said all of this it, um, there, there is another information that was highlighted below it says um, if your account is not verified by October 24th um, 2021 you will lose access to your Facebook page any actions you take on your Facebook page will be shown um, from trust Stanley um, and not the page what it actually means instead of whenever i make a post or publish a video instead of it displaying as um ts tech talk is going to be displayed at trust stanley so i wonder what is actually going to happen to the admin um of the page like the admin name owner of the page i don't know why facebook is doing this but this is actually recommended that everybody that owns a facebook page or you have a multiple facebook page should go ahead and do this just in order to avoid um some irregularities and i'm so sorry for making this video so late today is actually um october 20th and this um the threshold period is for october October 24th so um, I, I recommend you all to make sure you use this particular application in order to avoid um, your account being blocked or having issue with the Facebook page later on all right guys let's go ahead and do this Facebook um, authentication click on the menu icon on the top right area go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can notice where it says settings and privacy go ahead and click on that and now click on the settings and then scroll down to where it says um, security and login and then go ahead and tap on that and then next you are going to see where it says two-factor authentication right there so go ahead and click on the two-factor authentication actually i have this turned on but it's actually turned on for the sms use now i'm going to go ahead and add even more um, authentication to this particular option so i'm going to click on the authenticator app I'm going to tap on that to select it so there are two ways you can um, actually authenticate this app one is by scanning the qq code that is if you have the authenticator app on a different device and also have um, the facebook app on a different device so you can use the authenticator app turn it on and then scan your screen or you can go ahead and copy this particular um, link you just notice the test was copied go ahead and open the authenticator app i already have it downloaded if you don't have it downloaded go to google and download the authenticator up i'm going to go ahead and delete this this is actually the same thing but i want to delete it so that you guys will see how it work so um when you click on this plus button you can go ahead and enter the setup key right there and then um when you click on the enter the setup key put in any name under this area just put any name that you will be able to easily remember what it is i think the best name should be facebook facebook Alt key 
and then i'm going to come over here because it didn't copy everything and then i'm going to tap and you notice it says test copy to clipboard so i'm going to come right here and swipe out to delete everything and then paste it this is what i copied and when i click on add it will be added but i do not want to use that particular option let me use even this option since we have it on the same device now you notice where it says set up on same device right go ahead and tap on that now you notice it says save key for facebook um trust Stanley. and then click on ok to confirm that now this is the key so go ahead and copy this key out you notice um the verification code has been copied and quick note guys let me go ahead and tell you this actually expires you notice this um blue highlight um button it actually expires once this blue gets to the blank one this key is actually going to change so it changes um periodically so go ahead and click on continue to confirm and now go ahead and enter the code that is displayed right there um let me go ahead and tap and enter tap and hold and it will be copied to your clipboard then come right here and then paste it and click on continue now you notice it has been accepted now i will have to enter in my password to confirm that um that is actually me All right, guys so um this is now you can now see that we have two security methods that we can use the first one being the sms and the second one being the authenticator app so you can notice that it's currently turned on so you will receive a login code via the authenticator app which is just what i showed you guys a few minutes ago whenever you receive um, a message you see it on the notificator app and the same thing with the phone you can also use this phone number so both of them are actually active so you can either use this or use the second one there are all two different method right there so um i think i can easily use a different number but i think i'm okay with this number so these two are the method i will need to use to authenticate if that is actually me trying to log in to the um facebook application so that is all I want to show you guys on how to make use of the security code but before i round up this video i'm going to close up every application and open the facebook once more just to confirm that this setting has been set up because most times um the facebook is actually crazy and you set up something and it didn't actually save for you so i always like to double check twice um click on the two-factor authentication and then it's fine it has been added up i have two different uh, method for notification and if you still want you can go ahead and use a security key to use a physical key to protect your facebook but i think it's very difficult because you can easily forget the security key and the recovery code is also very difficult so i advise you guys to make use of these two method your sms and the authenticator app you can easily rem remember them once you are able to recover your email address or your phone number so that is all i want to show you guys on today's video if it's helpful smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video and i'm going to see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace